Osmosis is defined as the movement of solvent molecules from a region of lower solid concentration to a region of higher concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. Osmosis plays an important role in the interaction of cells with their external fluid surroundings. The cell membrane functions as the semi-permeable membrane through which transport of solvent molecules occur between the intra- and extracellular regions. The ability of an extracellular solution to cause the movement of solvent molecules into or out of a cell is known as the tonicity of that solution. A solution which has a relative solid concentration same as that found within a cell is known as an isotonic solution. A solution which has a relative solid concentration lower than that found within a cell is known as hypotonic solution. A solution which has a relative solid concentration higher than that found within a cell is known as hypertonic solution. In plant cells, an interesting phenomenon takes place when they are placed in a hypertonic solution. The protoplasm begins to shrink away from the cell wall as there is a net movement of solvent from the cell to their external surrounding, a process known as exosmosis. This process of shrinkage of a plant cell protoplasm due to exosmosis is known as plasmolysis. In animal cells, it is known as crenation. When a plasmolyzed cell is placed in a hypotonic solution, the protoplasm usually regains its original shape and turgor due to influx of fluid from the surrounding, a process known as endosmosis. This opposite phenomenon whereby the protoplasm of a plasmolyzed cell regains shape and turgidity is known as deplasmolysis. In this experiment, we will be demonstrating the phenomenon of plasmolysis and deplasmolysis in plant cells using onion epidermal cells as our material. For this experiment, we will need the following. Onion bulb, concentrated sucrose solution or 10% sodium chloride solution, glass lights and cover slips, pins and tweezers, droppers, distilled water, compound light microscope, and filter papers. To begin the experiment, take an onion bulb and remove a layer of the bulb. Break this layer and peel off the epidermal surface on the colored side of the layer. Place this epidermal peel on a glass light containing a drop of water. Place a cover slip on the peel. Observe under microscope. Notice the normal shape of the epidermal cells in the peel. Focus on a section of the peel under high power of the microscope. Now, add a drop or two of concentrated sucrose solution from one edge of the cover slip and blot the slide from the opposite edge of the cover slip using a filter paper strip. In this way, the sucrose solution gets sucked into the slide via a capillary force, thus replacing the water originally present in the slide. Observe again under the microscope. You'll now see that as time progresses from seconds to minutes, the protoplasm within the epidermal cells begin to gradually shrink away from the cell walls. This is called plasmolysis and occurs as a result of exosmosis of the protoplasmic fluid from the cell to the exterior surrounding. Now replace the sucrose solution with distilled water by following the same process of blotting. After a few minutes, you will find that the plasmalized cells regain their turgidity as the shrunken protoplasm of the cells begin to slowly swell up and fill the interior of the cells. This is called deplasmolysis and results from the process of endosmosis of the external fluid into the cells.